Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is just going to kind of showcase the work I did on the traders for Darkness Falls. So in Darkness Falls, the traders aren't fully protected, meaning that they don't have um, damage protection from zombies and other things, so you can actually destroy them. So I decided to go ahead and make some slight alterations on them. Now, I wasn't trying to make them OP or easy to defend, but the traders did kind of need an overhaul from the original Darkness Falls anyway. Um, I'm finding that the they're, I, I hate to say they're Mickey Mouse looking, but compared to some of the POIs, they're really kind of basic looking. So I did a little bit of work on them. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, some of them are more overhauled than others. So this is Trader Wrecked here. As you can see, the house is slightly different. Uh, Wrecked is slightly different. He's actually just in here. Um, now, so instead of having to go inside, like before you would come up here and go in his door and talk to him inside, you can actually just talk to him in the window here. He's got an access around the back, you can get in this way. And then on the inside, I just put a few of these things um, to make it look like he's actually running a shop in here. Now you can come in the door and loot this if you want. Some of them will be here, some of them won't. It's just a, these are random helpers, meaning that sometimes they'll spawn as a helper, sometimes they won't. Um, so there's a few items in here. His gun safe is still in here. Um, his single bookshelf has changed to these two, but these two, this one, actually these two are both random, which means they might not actually give you anything, whereas the original bookshelf did. So this could be nothing or it could be two. It's random. Um, so his house here, I thought I would do something a little different with this. So I, I kind of wanted to make this into like an auto body shop. Um, or somebody who worked on at one point in time just like would fix old cars or whatever, right? So I changed the house slightly. Um, we brought the door out a little bit here. Um, or did I bring it out? I can't remember. I think I brought it out one block or so. But this is a functioning door now. So inside you got his car. It's all taken apart. Pieces along the wall and stuff. The still has moved down from above to here. The kitchen is slightly different. Not much different. I took out the upper cupboards. Uh, and opened it up to the upper floor. Um, there's stairs that lead up here now that uh, lead out to the front to the where the guard tower is. I removed the stairs by the front so you can't get up that way anymore. Meaning if a zombie breaks in here he can't run up the walls right away. It's got to go in the house and up the door up the stairway there. And the stairway here has been removed. So like I say it's harder for them to get up. Um, actually let's have a quick look at the wall here too. So I put wooden plates um, just too high around the outside to make it look like there's a fence here. And then this stuff on the outside was like added later. So originally he just had a fence around his lot. And then later on they kind of, you know, built up a few wall, like built up his walls and a, and a, um, a walkway along the top. And he just threw some whatever he had on the outside to help protect it. But this is his original fence for his house. Uh, so that was the kind of the idea behind that. Changed the crop slightly to be potatoes and corn. Now these are random so they won't always spawn. Um, so you won't always get them. Uh, anyway, so back inside. Uh, yeah, so a couple of fuel barrels down here. Second floor, you kind of come up the stairs. I removed the floor here. Originally this was all concrete. But uh, I changed it to wood. Um... Simply because it didn't really make sense. I know the house was supposed to be a burnt, kind of burnt wreck, which I kind of left on this part here. Like maybe this part had had a fire on it and they didn't really fix it, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, so this floor was concrete. So I took that out, put it, made it wood. Uh, there's a little box back here. Now these beds are for the guards on the walls. Because I'm assuming that they're, they live here. Um, so each of the traders has got now places for the guards to actually sleep. There used to be the door out here to go to the platform out here that used to be where this guy stands. He's the guard captain, but now he's inside beside the beds and everything. And I added a third floor up here because the roof is high enough to add a third floor. So I went ahead and did that. And I figured that this is like where the guard captain sleeps. So he's got his bed here in the corner and desk for whatever work and a random backpack. And like there's nothing really much up here. So if you came into this place and we're going to be in here, this is probably where you would stay. Now this used to be the... Um, out here just used to be a gangplank and it was you know kind of rough this was this was here originally as well so I kind of left it in um, and rather than leaving it like it was I added this brick here and the idea was is that maybe this was a brick shed here at one point in time it either got damaged in a fire or whatever but it's partially collapsed and they've kind of built it up with wood and tried to maintain to keep the roof with what they had 
covered it up with some you know sheets on the outside to protect it from the weather and then this used to be a hoist where maybe the, he would work on cars out here or whatever but I moved the workbench which and the cement mixer that were out here into here the forge is right here in the corner so that's there and yeah that's pretty much it for this one um, I didn't really do a whole lot I tried to maintain as much of it as I could um, from the original so that's that one and then if we go to I hit the escape key and it pauses for a second so let's go down here we're gonna scroll down to the next trader who will be uh, we'll check Caitlin out last now I wasn't able to find Eve so this guy was wrecked let's go see Joel next um, so let's load that one uh, we want to discard the changes so Joel is gone for an overhaul too he was the guy that just had um, the kind of very thin there we go the very thin wall around the outside that you could actually get through this so let's go out here real quick it's just still loading a little bit so it just had these axes and the barbed wire and dogs could fit through here it's easy for zombies to break these out and stuff so I went ahead and just did a little bit of work on this so I left this intact as he like as he had it um, I believe these here rather than being stocks like this they were actually um, like full square wood blocks but I, re I, I think I'm pretty sure I or with no these were round columns that's right they were round columns and I, re I replaced them with like tree stumps because I figured this guy's out in the country right so rather than being like proper wood blocks they would just be cut down trees and they sharpen the top of them so that's kind of replace these with those in here I kind of put a fence made it look like plywood and then on the inside these are all just plates wooden fence plates that go all the way around so now it's like he's got an enclosed uh, building here it's basically you know him and his guards have basically just built this up from nothing and put the fence in and stuff uh, you'll notice here the front has changed uh, significantly so on the outside it's a little bit the same um, this didn't exist before so now it's in there so you kind of come in the front door uh, there used to be stairs here that went up to the walls but they're gone now much like Rex place in here uh, is the bunkhouse where there's you know place for the guards to sleep and stuff um, and then I put a catwalk around the outside now I changed this catwalk slightly did I no it was always three around I think yeah it was always three so I didn't change this too much uh, but I did you know add these spikes and stuff along here I think on the top of these he had was a barbed wire on top of these I think so I think there was these used to be the regular wooden circles with barbed wire on top so I removed the barbed wire put the spikes in uh, made the corners like you know hunting um, like a hunting tower nest on each of the four corners just to add a little bit of um, uh, a little bit of interest to it because once again this was a very plain uh, trader where the walls were just like the regular wood everything was like regular wood so I, I just did a bit of painting here I kind of made this distressed wood and like I said I made those plywood pieces on the inside just to add a little bit of extra detail from the outside so it kind of looks good you know coming up on the outside of this building and I believe that this was the same thing it was all plain wood the roof is about the same but I redesigned this well most of it this is this part here has been redesigned um, I've extended his place out a little bit here give him a little bit more room the catwalk is different you used to be able to come out um, there was a place to stand then come down and along here and then this would go down to the ground once again providing zombies access to the walls so I made it so that they really don't have access to the walls I mean yeah they can come in here and come up there and in through the door or along there but there's no immediate wall access along the outside uh, this is still the same under here has changed slightly uh, I'm not sure why it's like oh I know why it's lagging because I'm actually exporting uh, episode 76 of my darkness fall series right now that's why it's lagging a bit so I just kind of moved these guys slightly there are all four of them under here still um, I took out the there was used to be like a metal sheeting and stuff around here I just figured that you probably wouldn't have any metal sheeting so I took that out Ooh, I noticed that I'm missing a wall here well, that's interesting anyway I'll fix that later um, well I'm not gonna bother fixing it because once Alpha 20 comes out this will all change anyway I'm just using it in my um, you know current offline playthroughs 
But anyway, yeah, so I added a couple picnic tables here, some barbecues. I figured, you know, they would, if it's out in the country, they'd probably be doing barbecue. So um, there's that. And then you come up here. Now, the guard captain used to be standing right here beside the vending machine that down here in the bottom. So I just kind of moved them up here. And this part of the building used to be all open, but now it's all closed off. So the guard captain's here with the vending machine. Go up a couple stairs. And here's Hugh's counter. Now these are random, which means, you know, it's random whether anything will be spawning in here. The couple of times I've encountered this in game, um, only one of these has actually had anything. And the, the second time I encountered them, none of these had anything. So it's not like you're going to be finding a lot here when you get here. But Hugh's just behind the wall here. It's got a door um, to get into his place. And once again, I left the radio thing here. Um, but I just kind of updated it a little bit, just make it a little bit more modern. You know, he's got his racks of clothing that he's selling. A few empty racks there, some store shelves, some bookshelves. You know, and that's all. And this has been repainted up above slightly here. I was going to do an upper level here, but then I just decided against it. I just figured one level would be enough for him. Now, he's got no place to sleep here, but it is what it is. Looks like I didn't paint that either. But that's fine. And that's the end of Hugh. I mean, that's pretty simple, you know. But I think it just looks a lot better than the original one did, you know. It's just slightly updated. And really the painting is what does it, right? Like stay, staying with like standard wood is one thing, but just having the extra little bit of detail. Um, and I'm not saying this is fantastic by any means, it's acceptable. But just having the like the just slightly different uh, textures on a lot of things, like the wood not being just the same as this here, and these not being painted the same as this, just kind of adds a bit of depth that wasn't there before. And the green on this, the green siding on this um, makes the building stand out a little bit more, makes it a little bit more presentable, I guess. Okay, moving on. Let's go see. Uh, let's save Jen for a little later. I did way more work on her place. Hugh and Bob. So Hugh, right, I didn't do much to Hugh's place. I was going to do a lot to this guy's place. Let's just load this guy in. Um, Hugh, load. Discard. So Hugh is the guy that's out. He's supposed to be in the cold biome, right? Because he's got like the old wooden wooden shack. So I went by the idea that he was kind of like the place was a lodge at some point, and perhaps it was one of those things where it was like a travel destination where you would go and visit and rough it out in the wilderness. All right, just gonna take a second to load here. There we go. So the walls stayed pretty much the same. I didn't really touch them too much, with the exception that. I trimmed them all to the same height. Now, the guards in this place, uh, where they're stationed, with the exception of the guys up in the towers here, uh, the guards would fire, and they would be hitting these all the time, especially the ones on the walls. So I went and pulled out. There was spikes across the top of here that I took out. I left the corner pieces in because it kind of looks good there, but I, I basically made these. I lowered them all by one, and some of these were two, two more high than the spike, and I, I re reduced them by two. So all the way around, that's kind of uniform. Um, so there's that. And then I added one of these here. So I copied and pasted that one along here with the sandbags on the inside and outside. The the ditch that was along here, while it was interesting, um, it didn't really do anything. It was just kind of this culvert for water that was empty and it was like nothing. So I just removed it. Uh, put a couple picnic tables in there. Um, some swings and and uh, the uh, the slide uh, on the idea that if you're you know they, if you were coming out to rough it you would probably be, bring, be bringing your kids so you know there was a place for the kids to play and stuff the basement I left the same I didn't touch underground I was going to and I had an idea what I wanted to do I wanted to move him completely underground but then I thought now nah, I just leave it um, I removed the door that was on the one side over here it was right there took that door out made this double wide, put the door in the center because I've redone the inside, added all the windows here to kind of make it look nice because uh, before it was just straight logs all the way, uh, all the way across. And the fireplace was straight up here. Um, I moved the fireplace around to the side. It doesn't quite look good like this. I mean, it, it didn't really make it. I should have made this better, but I mean, it's, it's okay for a fireplace. I'll, I'll admit it was kind of terrible, but I did add some wood next to it, like on the outside here. Um, on the front here, I redid the front by adding some planter beds along here uh, and around here. 
you know and it these are random helpers so I think some of these will be here some of them might not be I don't know what I did here so when you come in here some of these might here might be here some of them might not be here um, the building still stayed stayed wood uh, nothing's been upgraded the trees been added over there and over there I redid the barn um, just because it was like once again it was just like old style we have a, a bunch of new items that we could put in so there's the old wagon that maybe he took you around on a, a wagon ride outside some hay for any horses that he may have had at one point in time broken down wood mixers in there that's in there and this uh, needs no explanation if you've lived out in the country or been out to the country you know exactly what this place is um, yeah so I took the once again took the stairs out to, to get to the guards oh yeah I also added a uh, generator back here because I figured if he's in the middle of nowhere he's got a generator running his power for inside so that's back there empty fuel barrel um, so yeah I extended the wall that goes across here took out the stairs so that you can't just get up to the guards and I, I extended the wall all the way around because I figured why would you stop if you're gonna put it on you might as well be all the way around here now over there I understand because that's not it's going over the crops and everything so I didn't go all the way around over there but I did it here and I removed the guard that was up there and put him down here um, so that was it for the wall now the wall goes all the way around and I extended it now too because it was always weird that the two guards were standing up on top of this the roof of this on the peaks but you know yeah there was ways to get up there was like hay bales here that you could climb up and get up but um, I removed those I painted the tower here a little bit uh, once again just a little bit of detail to add some separation in color uh, and then I added the gang planks up here for the two guards to be standing up here um, and that was that now inside done a bit of renovations but not a lot mostly to just to update the look so as you come in the front door here um, you know I got a, a couple couches just extended it a little bit I put the forge inside the fireplace just because I don't think it's you know amazingly creative but you know why not put it inside the fireplace now Hugh's desk has been completely updated it's been extended a little bit it moved I can't I moved it out one I think the sides yeah this has all been moved out one all the way along I've uh, been painted a little bit once again these are just helpers so they may spawn ammo they may not spawn ammo and then of course he's got his shelves on the inside here it's cooler gun safe the access to below is still there a little bit of clothing racks and stuff and then the kitchen stayed the same I didn't touch it so it's just add a little bit of detail to make it stand out just a little bit more I painted that up there just to give it a bit of separation um, these were in the center so I moved one over I think that one got moved over anyway I added a second one here when we took the fireplace out and then up here uh, once again I just redid it so I took out the old bed that was here and put in these beds for the uh, the crew um, table when they're not doing anything you know toolbox and some you know clothing racks and their lockers and then another bed up here so yeah I mean just slightly different um, but not a lot I mean this is a big place and you could probably do a lot to it but uh, I just wanted to do something just to add it um, you know make it just a little bit more alive you know and yeah I'll just leave it at that this 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 one is not probably the best build but it is just you know a little bit more colorful so let's move on to um, we've got Bob and Jen let's go to Bob next so Bob and Jen are both both based inside a, a town so um, this discard the changes so my idea behind these two is to make sure they were had a like, kind of an urban feel and they, they kind of already did um, but you know I, I didn't want to go too too overboard with them like I was saying so this guy so Bob was the guy that was at the um, the storage facility right had the building in the corner here and you would go in there was a big storage facility thing down here in the center which I removed I made it more of an open lot concept uh, with some storage along the side um, and I added a couple of trailers here so it's like you know big trucks have kind of drove in dropped the trailers off I mean these doors technically these are doors that can be like raised or lowered which is why you'd be able to get in but um, yeah so let's start with the guards and the walls so I changed the way these pillars worked um, 
I made them kind of more into like diamondy shapes, so they're more reinforced. It's just not one block. There's like plates or the angle blocks on the outside, the, the gables that go all the way around. And I put the guards up here. So they were standing on top, like over there, just out in the open. So because it's like an urban environment, I put sandbags up around these guys. Now, if I was going to redesign this place, I would probably lower this down um, to here and have the guards like right up on here. I find the higher the guards are, the harder it is to, for them to see zombies. So in game, it's a little bit difficult for the, uh, I mean the guards, maybe the guards of this trader do okay, but um, they're nowhere near as good as the uh, uh, Trader Joel's guards because the Trader Joel's guards are three blocks off the ground and it's just easy for them to see people, but up here it's a little harder. So, but I, I made them like, you know, basically um, uh, protected by sandbags and stuff. Um, just because it just kind of adds a little bit more to an urban feel to it, if you know what I mean. Now Bob's inside here got redesigned slightly. He still kind of stays the same, same bookshelf and everything, but we just added a bit of clothing back here. And then the, the, the metal shelving that was here has been replaced by the newer shelving. Some of them might have stuff in it when you come in, some might not, and clothing rack back here. Um, I also added a way to get up to the guards up here. So keeping with um, the way we had it before, this, this guy's place, you really couldn't get to the guards because they were standing on top of stuff. So I made it a little different here. So here you would get to the top of the bus, walk along, jump up on here, get up on here, and then go along the outside. So that's just the way you would access the guards from here. Uh, a few cars in here. I basically extended the fence along, along the back. And what I did is I kind of added a little bit of accent here where there's like extra bricks on the corners um, where they're kind of crumbled. So they, they you know, the... Um, the people that were here basically added extra brick to the wall um, just for reinforcement and such maybe some of its crumbled brick whatever uh, so I added those these ones here have been slightly redesigned I added a bit of different things to the inside so it's just you know kind of all household items right and I moved uh, you know the forge and the still and everything out the workbench is over here now rather than being over there that's where the cement mixer is. His forge is by the trader. And then up in here is where the, uh, the still is um, or the chem station. So yeah, I mean, not much there. And then inside here, I don't think I touched this. The kitchen still stays the same. Upstairs stays the same. And the roof stays the same. So yeah, a little bit of adjustment, mostly in the uh, courtyard here. Um, this guy's probably got the weakest walls of all. Uh, because I didn't really do anything. I didn't add any plates or anything along here. I was going to do it, but then I thought, eh, you know, the fence is probably good enough. There's barbed wire on the top of all of it. So it is what it is. So that's this one. And then the last one, well, the second last one will be Jen. So let's have a quick look at her. So Jen, I did the most work on because when you look at it, when you look at her and her walls, I'm, I'm like, it doesn't make it they didn't the walls didn't make any sense I hope I haven't crashed here nope the walls didn't make any sense so what I did is I tried to build a structure that looked like they kind of move in moved in and took over you know the place um, so the, I based it on this building here which was a good structure inside her inside her base but she as you can see she's been completely redesigned so the walls are gone. The walls that she had before are gone. These used to be metal plates up here. Uh, I mean, if you're watching my Darkness Fall series currently, uh, Trader Jens is the place that I'm staying in. This does not look like like anything like Trader's Jens, uh, but it uh, it is hers. The only thing that stayed was this blockhouse here. That's the only thing that stayed, and it's been rotated, so it's not identical to how it was. Um, and as you can see, it's been rotated and moved because it was in the center before and I moved it over here. Uh, I removed all the metal plating that was around the outside and just replaced it with wooden bars or uh, metal bars around, I think these are wood, around the outside. Um, and there's the, you know, the parking lot, so it looks like people would come to work and pull in park here, go in and work in the building here, right? So, yeah, so the wood's all, or the, the walls are all brick with a little bit of wood and some barbed wire around the outside. Um, once again, I kind of kind of uh, made the corners a little bit, 
you know, not exactly the same all the way around, but just slightly different. So it looks like they kind of came in and built built stuff up. So the guards are protected a little bit by sandbags. They don't have a lot, but a few. Each of the platforms is slightly different, you know, um, where the guards are standing. So there's a platform there, corner platform. This guy doesn't really have that, that much. He's just got some planking. This platform is slightly different as well. And then the top and front here is slightly different. The stairs are all gone to get lead up to the wall again. So the, in order to get to the guard's wall, you have to kind of come through the main building and outside. So before we go into the main building, because I did a, a bunch of work on the inside, uh, we've got a couple of things here. So vending machines moved over there. Around back here, we've got the cement mixer and the forges over here. You know, I added a little bit of piping just to make it look like the building kind of did something. Replaced all the windows. They were all knocked out before and were just like wood or metal plank, like planking. So I replaced them with actual windows. Um, there's the outside here. This is like was the generator building. So there's like a power building here um, and a little bit of a radio tower here with a generator. And the workbench and the still have been put in there. Then if you go up inside, there you, this tank used to be on the outside. This is what I built my horde base on in my Darkness Falls series. But I moved the tank onto the inside um, just because, I don't know, I just felt it looked better on the inside. Replaced the lighting with the uh, fluorescent lighting. Very dim dim lighting in here. Got a bathroom underneath the stairs here. Uh, we don't have bathrooms in all the places, but I did add one here. Just because it's like, it just, it feels more like, like it was a, a building where people worked, right? So I got some stuff up in the walls there. I got to the second floor. This is where our guard captain is. And of course, all of this stuff used to go all the way around the outside, but I replaced it with, you know, some uh, some beds for the guards, nightstand, toaster, uh, coffee maker and stuff. And then the third floor really is nothing. You just kind of go up to the roof and that, that's it, right? There's a ladder up there, but you don't go out. And then Jen's, she had um, blueberries in her plot before, but I just kind of made it look like, you know, she's actually attempting to grow them here. So that's what I did on the outside little barbecue and um, some chairs on the outside there where they just kind of sit and hang out you know on those uh, warm days and then when you go inside to see her uh, there's her coffee maker that's on the fritz so if you find one maybe bring it bring it to her and give her one some ammo shelves here once again they're just random helpers so most likely they won't be anything when you get here but they might be same as the clothing rack and stuff she's got a refrigerator and then back here she's got all her stuff so that's Jens. So this one is probably the most secure base of them all, only because of the walls. But if the zombies breach these walls, I mean, there's really no nothing stopping them anyway, right? Um, so Trader Wrecked, he's in one of these um, things as well. His his is stainless steel. This one's just metal. So his has got 10,000 hit points. So it's harder for the zombies to break in. This one's only 300. So if they do break in, they can kill Jen really easily by breaking through the walls. So she's got to be protected. But yeah, so that's this one. Um, pretty simple. It was the biggest kind of overhaul that I did, but I mean, I didn't really upgrade it that much from what she had before. It's just designed slightly differently. So let's have a quick look at uh, the last one, which is... Uh, where are you here? It's probably up here, which is Trader uh, Caitlin. And it's in the darkness falls. Nope. Uh, settlement trader. Here we go. So this is her here. So let's load her. So this one I just basically updated. So this was the survivor camp originally. And Caitlin was added to this one. So I think you'll recognize it from the front. It's the survivor camp. And I thought it was brilliantly added to the game. This is it just kind of, it just looks like a trader's, right? With the, uh, the front wall and everything. Now, I didn't touch any of this stuff. I left it as it was. So this, I always envisioned this place as, you know, there was like a, you know, maybe like a tiny, I don't want to say settlement, but there was like a few houses and stuff that were just stuck in the wilderness. And they did, or they just built up these shanty houses around this store here that was out at some point, right? Um, or who knows, like wh what this would have would have been? It would have been some quasi um, civilized place. But then they just grabbed shit from everywhere around and built up walls and just did whatever they could to, to try and basically survive from the zombies, right? So I changed things slightly. Uh, so the metal plates are here still. This uh, 
the concrete that were was here, which I think is these pieces here. It might be all of it. I painted it to look like brick anyway. The back wall was always the weakest wall, so I added a little bit of fencing to the uh, the the uh, bit that's right here. Um, along here, there's barbed wire and some brick wall that was added. These still remain the same. Still barbed wire along here, barbed wire along here. Added some fence. Um, added a few bricks in here. This has just been painted. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, there's a few more bricks back here. So it looks like they kind of grabbed bricks from wherever and kind of threw them in. Some uh, um, sandbags here to help with protection. You know, uh, this has been filled in a little bit. So it's a little bit more defensible than it was before. It's still, I mean, they can still easily break through the front here and stuff. Uh, so there's still areas that they can break in. I put some bricks along here to help support this one wall. Um, so yeah, I mean, it is a little more defensible. Yeah, there's a bus back here. I figured that the people that came out here came by bus. So they parked the bus partially along the back wall just to give it a little bit of extra protection. You can see the bricks have kind of fallen in here a little bit. Um, so that was that part there done. Now let's start here. This used to be the first aid building. So this has been repurposed and the stairs have been changed. So the stairs used to go up here to the, to the guard tower or to the second floor of this place. Actually there was uh, stairs here and this was on stilts. But why you would put a building on the just like these thin stilts didn't really make any sense to me. So I just kind of filled it in as a proper building. But I removed the stairs up here put a double stair on this side so you can go up but we'll go into the bottom here first so this is the bunkhouse right it's just where the guards kind of sleep in here then if you go along and go upstairs then we got up here is the storage room so there's a bunch of storage that they've got stuff that they've been staving up or whatever some of these things aren't lootable some of them are um, like these are random so they might they might give you stuff they might not uh, cooking pot here so if you find it you, get a, you can get a, you can get a cooking pot then the second building, this floor was empty, I believe, before, but this is the radio room now. So we, I put a radio kind of thing in here. Um, it's a second bunk room too, so there's a couple people that sleep here. Um, someone's always trying to, well, I wish we could just have a random person in here. So someone would always be on duty to, to listen for the radio to see if they can pick up other survivors. Um, but that's the, the, the top and then the bottom floor down here is actually like a laundry room. So I just made it kind of like a small laundry room and there's the generator bag that powers the uh, radio and stuff above and the fuse box and stuff. Lights in the side there. Um, and of course all of the traders have got a little bit of lighting on them now so they kind of lit up a little bit. So this back room was always kind of a weird building for me. Uh, it still looks really weird. I, I kind of flattened off the roof a little bit, put a little bit of edges on it just so that I could add the sandbags because there's four guards up here so they're sandbag protected now this guard's still in a weird location you should really think about moving him but this guard's in a proper location here so yeah so this is the building with the um, stuff in it the uh, uh, workbenches and stuff so it, it just I kept it all the same put the forge kind of up on blocks and some stone and stuff around it just to make it look like it's you know in use by people uh, so this side is changed as well. So this was the bathroom. These were all bathrooms as well And I'm like, why would you have so many bathrooms in this place? But so I removed that and put a brick building in but this one here was the bathroom now It's kind of got the little bit more amenities of home So we got a divider here so people can take a dump in peace this I think used to be fence, but I replaced it with metal plates a um, little bit of a bath and place you can wash up and stuff in here no more access to the roof roof access is from this building here now so there's a couple guards up here. Once again, I didn't do too much to where the guards were. Just replaced the fencing that was here because it was the shit fence. And I think the guards were shooting it. I can't remember if they were or not, but now they can shoot through it. Um, this guard was in a weird location, but gave him some sandbags to be behind some and some uh, some bars on this place. Uh, this building is brick now, or, or concrete, sorry. And once again, it's just like a storehouse. So if we go inside here, it's just a storehouse where they're actually just keeping stuff. Um, this is my fault. I haven't fixed it. I just left it. Uh, there's some bricks that are damaged in here because I, I assumed that by using the uh, the uh, block removal tool here 
on these barrels, it would just remove the barrel, but it actually, the barrel explodes. So it, I was working away and I'm like, oh, I don't want these barrels here. I'll just get rid of them. And I, I shot them and it just blew up the whole side of the building here. So I had to replace a bunch of stuff and, and that. But anyway, I just, I didn't replay, I didn't fix all the blocks. I just left some of it. And I guess it's kind of realistic. The building's kind of taking a little bit of damage over time. Anyway, the second floor, you kind of come up through a trap door in the floor. Uh, once again, it's another guard bunk for the guards that are on this side of the building. This was kind of a bunkhouse before. Uh, and then the roof is just the roof. Put some sandbags up here once again, and I put some sandbags on top of the uh, the uh, where Caitlin is, just because it's like you'd think that if it was all hands on deck, they would be up here shooting down on the zombies, right? It's nice to, for them to be behind sandbags and stuff so they don't fall off. But I just added a bit of it um, just for the uh, for the aesthetic. Once again, the whole place has kind of been repainted. This has been repainted. These are actually um, reinforced concrete, but they're repainted. The guard captain used to be standing be beside the uh, vending machine. Vending machine's been moved inside there now, but he used to be standing beside that, so I put him behind beside a barrel so he can stay warm. Uh, this stuff has been added, just a little bit, little extra detail, you know. Garbage location. Once again, it's all been repainted, um, just so it looks a little better. This used to be a super red building, like that. Kind of replaced it with this. That kind of looks okay if you're like if you got a farm or an outback like an outer outbuilding, whatever, or if you got farm plots, it's kind of a nice little texture. But for a full building, the red is just too much. So the subtle colors I think are a little better, like the like the toned down green, the toned down whites, you know, the beiges and stuff work a little better here. Now, I don't have a lot of textures to work with, so you know, I just have what I have. But you know, just even separating the different kinds of roofs. You know, makes the buildings stand apart, apart from one another. Now this building I didn't touch physically on the outside, still the same. But if you go in, you know, it's more of a store now. So Caitlin's behind here. It it looks like it was a store at one point with the conveyor belt and stuff here, for the uh, for the food items and whatever. Um, so that's been moved in there. The two guards stay here. Uh, we've got some shelves along the side there and along the back. Broken down freezer. So yeah, it's once again, it's just to add a little bit of interest, so it's just not so bland when you come to visit the traders. And that's it. That's, that's pretty much all I did to this place. But yeah, you know, it's funny. I've been doing, I've been working with the, uh, with the tools now, and it's just, for me, it's not immediately intuitive. Like I did 3D work a long time ago, so I, I, you know, I know a little bit about 3D and stuff like that, and how, like, and moving objects and stuff like that in 3D space and that. This when I'm working in it, like I don't, I don't do, I don't do game development obviously, and I don't do level design obviously, but I, d I didn't find the tools very intuitive. But once you get building, it's actually not that bad. You know, you have access to all the blocks uh, and stuff. But it's just, um, it's not as intuitive as it should be, I think, for people to design stuff and put levels in. It takes a, it's got a bit of a learning curve. Now, if you've done it before, I'm sure you're like, ah, ah, it's not that much of a learning curve, but, you know, it's got a little bit of a learning curve to do, you know, stuff and make it look good. But yeah, I think once the new Alpha 20 comes out, from what I've seen of the uh, in the dev uh, dev streams and what they've done, how many buildings they're adding, the, um, the uh, what do you call it, the, the block template system where they've got, like, zones that... Um, certain size buildings will will fit in you know so uh, and the plus they've got like i don't know how many i got thousands of buildings now or at least a thousand buildings that they're adding uh by the time the, the uh, game is done i'm not sure if they'll have all a thousand in i think it's 1200 or something distinct pois so it's going to be a lot but um yeah and they've apparently overhauled a lot of them so i think the only work i'll be doing in the future will be for the compo pack um, I might, you know, take some time and redesign some of the buildings in there and make them more um, compatible with Alpha 20. I don't know if the people who were doing the compo pack buildings will ever upgrade those buildings or not, but I might go and do some of them. Um, I found it fun for a while there while I wasn't recording to just kind of spend spend an afternoon on a weekend to just kind of play around with the tools and and uh, make stuff. So I thought I would just show, you know, show off the, the work that I did on the traders. Um, they're in my game now, so um, in Darkness Falls, my series, um, if we encounter a new trader, it'll be one of these ones. So 
but the old traders will still remain the same because they've spawned in already in the world. So they'll remain as they are. But yeah, so I'm going to end this episode here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just a little one-off. And I apologize for the one that I posted the other day. Um, <laughs> I thought I could just record and post, but apparently YouTube doesn't understand 4-channel audio. So I have to kind of mix down my... Because I record my sound and my voice separate. Just in case there's, you know, loudness in the uh, the background sounds, I can tone it down if I need to. Um, but apparently it doesn't recognize all four audio channels and my voice is on channel three and four. So it just disappeared off that off that video. I'll most likely delete it after about a day or so, but... Um, and it'll be gone. It'll be replaced by this one. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I think the next Darkness Falls episode should be coming out soon. I was just exporting it, so I'll either post it tomorrow or the day after. It'll be after this one anyway. So yeah, until next time, see y'all later.